Well, ladies and gentlemen, six two two zero two one June second, twenty twenty one. It is a Wednesday. I've started a lot of videos this year, anticipating a GME squeeze. Haven't been right on any of them yet, but maybe this is the one. You're in the market long enough, and you have the patience, and you can fight another day. You don't give it all to the market maker or those on the other side. You can make a lot of money in the market. We'll see what happens. It's all about patience, not going all in, not just yellowing and giving up because you ran out of patience and just that sort of thing. Here we are, Jamie, up uh, 13%. Did a little live stream today. I said once I had plays set up and I thought the squeeze had started, I'd live stream. Um, I got plays set up, anticipatory plays, uh, option plays, and I don't think the squeeze has started yet. This is possibly the beginning of the beginning of the squeeze. Things are looking good. Um, we still don't have volume. And it's still manipulated. This is, this is one indicator as well as the lack of volume. So, um, we will see. This could be the beginning of the beginning though. I, I really believe that. Cause I think next week, quite possibly there's enough catalyst to definitely set it off. And so this might be the beginning of that. And then the peak, if it does continue with this trend and it seems like that's going on and there'll be signs of shorts covering probably with this, um, but they'll have to start covering the the naked shares will have to start. I mean, there's so many covering they have to do before they even get to actual cover real shares. And that's if anybody sells. So it's going to be a while. Um, if it, if this is the beginning, I anticipate. Um, depends on when you say, when, when did it start? I mean, if you say the squeeze started in January, then yeah, it's been going on a while. But if you say it started maybe this day, 525, or even this day, I think, uh, I don't think we'll see the peak if this is the beginning. I don't think we'll see the peak for that's how it goes. At least a week, probably two weeks. And that's the peak. Then I think it'll come down for maybe two or three weeks. So anyways, um, technical analysis. AMC, of course, is uh, doing crazy stuff over here. But um, I, I like that AMC is running so much. This is great for me because I can just see... Uh, is just more confirmation bias on how high GME can go and how easily it can get there. I don't believe AMC's short float interest is nearly that of GME's. Um, I don't see a catalyst after this thing squeezes for it becoming a totally different company that is actually um, successful and not going down like this because it's losing viewers to streaming. Maybe they'll change it. Maybe it will be, but at this point I don't. And this rally, I don't even think is a short squeeze. Maybe a gamma squeeze. Um, I think it's just a lot of momentum, retail, and I think there could be a short squeeze on AMC. I don't know a whole lot about the the total short float interest. I don't think anybody really does. Even if it's 20%, though, you could have a massive short squeeze. That's all Volkswagen was. So this thing could short squeeze, and <clears throat> potentially it has some, but uh, I don't really think it even has yet. And it maybe still could. This thing could go to 100. It could, could go further, which is crazy. Um, but I don't think the hedgies on AMC have to have to cover. And the only reason if they would have to is if they're tied in with GME and they are. So that's the only reason why I think potentially they would, but I don't even think they will. There's so many shares available to trade. The float's so much larger than GME. They keep offering shares. Um, they can just keep shorting it. So I don't, I, I mean, maybe they'll cover on here, but they don't even have to. In my opinion but if we look here real quick uh compare it to january uh amc gme quite a few stocks ran up together as you all probably know um here's here's january on gme so this was the high on amc this is where it peaked which was extremely high i was trading at one dollar ninety cents and this came up all the way to twenty dollars so that's 20x um this is gme's high 483 it was really like it was 500 after hours around there um but now GME has hit almost 80. I think it'll definitely hit 80. I think it still has room to go just based on the chart. I think it's going to keep going. Um, yeah, the hourly is setting up just a bull flag. So this thing's going to go wild. Anyways, 
So this thing's already uh, 20, 40, 60, 80. It's already 4 x from its high in January. So if nothing else, if, if literally if AMC had the same short float interest of, at GME and they both were in the dumps and they're completely identical, GME is lagging, let's just act like we don't know anything, then I would say, okay, GME potentially could go, why wouldn't it 4x also? I'd put this thing at 2000 and put it up here, right? Because if this if this is the high in January, this is the high in January, it went up to here, that would mean this, this would go up to 4x, it would go up to 2000. So at the very minimum, if you know nothing about GME, you can see the common logic there that, okay, this, this could go up that high and it, and it probably will. And you think, oh, why is it lagging? That's where all the manipulation, hedge fund, screwing around business comes into play and had kept it suppressed all these months. Um, today, we've seen all of these stocks back from January that probably are heavily shorted and all tied in. They're all running today. They've all been doing crazy stuff today. And all of them except GME. Yeah, GME's had a good day. I mean, 13%, that's great. It, it's not though. I mean, you compare it to what these other ones are doing. It's it's nothing compared to these other ones. AMC is up over 100% just today. So GME is clearly lagging. Um, I'm not gonna go into all the details. You can read Reddit for that and the rest of the internet and learn learn about it. But um, yeah, it's it's lagging hard. So to me, that's great. We're getting a we're getting a huge slingshot here. We're getting a great setup. Hopefully some people on AMC are good, smart, somewhat smart investors, take some profits along the way. And then if they want to invest in GME for this run, I mean, the trifecta there is awesome. I didn't, I didn't play it like that. I didn't play it smart like that. Um, I didn't quite know how it's going to play out, but AMC going first and then, and then GME, I mean, yeah, that's, that's going to become pounding ridiculously leveraged <laughs> plays, which is insane. Shout out to the guys in discord. I'll keep them private, but he's up he's up at least 300 maybe 400 or maybe even half a million right now on uh, amc from like five thousand dollars takes those profits puts them into some options on gme like that's that is crazy crazy i had to sell a house to put in a lot of money to gme <laughs> which i still haven't done yet so i'm kind of hoping this slows down i'm i'm waiting to close on the house Whew. that's gonna be a whole nother video i sold my house to buy more gme that's going to be the title. Anyways, um, technical analysis on the chart. We're looking hourly. Everything's good. Green candles are the nine moving average. Our volume's still low. That's why this thing hasn't taken off. That's not why, but that's one of the indicators to me that means this squeeze hasn't started. Um, Ape Andy was talking about failed to delivers and different hedge funds not being able to get the price low enough at the last failed to deliver. And so it screwed a guy one of the hedge funds potentially so that he couldn't kick the can on those and that's what maybe is causing this run up because there now are actual failed delivers out there that he didn't basically reset i'm not sure all the causes next week though we have shareholder meeting i think we'll know the votes by then we have earnings um tons of catalysts i think all the sec and dtc stuff is in place but there might even be some more stuff next week on that Whew. this seems crazy okay um but yeah technical analysis looking good I mean, this is a nice little wedge we're forming here. Nice flat resistance here and a, uh, you know, supporting trend line coming up here. MACD is good. RSI is good. Uh, new highs broke out of this 271, uh, almost hit 300. Wow. And then on the daily, if you watched my video two days ago, I was expecting us to come down after I saw this big engulfing candle that day. And then I thought, okay, we're going to come down and test back at the support. Um, after this day, I was like, okay, I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. And then I saw on iBrow Desk, I saw, okay, they have 650,000 available to short. This this is a rough, this isn't, this isn't, I, you have to take this with a lot of salt. $1 or 1% fee. I was like, that's a bunch of, of ammo for them to short. They borrowed all of it today, or not all of it, but 500, half a million shares this morning. They did nothing. They were not able to do anything with it. They did a little bit in the, like the pre-market. I think that's that's all that they could do. Look at that. That's all they did. I believe that's what they, they did. They used all that and that's all they could bring it down. So with that, then I thought, okay, this, this thing is, this is crazy. They can't drop it more than that right now, presently. And I don't think they will be able to until this thing is squeezed and people are selling shares and they are also covering naked positions five times the float. And then people are selling real shares. 
So until then, it doesn't seem like they can drop it. I mean, very, very minor. Uh, if you look at AMC, like a, a real drop. We haven't really seen a real one. We've, we saw it halting going down, but that's probably day trading and that kind of thing, but like a real drop. I think AMC can be dropped for real, a serious drop. Uh, but they're not doing that because I think they're trying to possibly, I hate to say the word distract, but I think Citadel, I think they're using this to gain capital because I think they're long on AMC. I know they're shorting it, but somehow I believe they're they've are they got to be using AMC to help push off their margin call. Um, and so they're, they're letting it run. And same with the other ones. The other ones, I think potentially they are actually covering out uh, maybe covering some of their short positions to build capital for the GME. Um, so yeah, anyways. But on on GME, they don't have any, from what I can tell, they really, they really don't have power to bring this thing down. I mean this, yeah, it's, it's nothing. So it turned this bearish looking, I was bearish on it for here. I was like, it's gonna be bearish till next week. Great, whatever. And then we had this. Charts looking good. Volume was lower that day. And now today, totally bullish. Totally flipped it around. Whew, it's hard to talk about. Um, so broke all the resistances. Good volume today. Not as much as, let's see, this day. Market's going to close in four minutes. So this volume is basically daily volume, which is pretty much matched this day. Um, but increasing volume from the last two days, which is good. And with that, of course, we're seeing a lot of green price action. So uh, into next week, it's not, it's, it's Wednesday. This is crazy. By Friday, this might just be a massive gamma squeeze. Ooh, I, I feel like it's Friday. No, yeah, we've got two more days. Okay, the options on GME go up to 5.30. I think I'm gonna throw up. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know if they're going to release it this week because, like I said, I feel like this is still suppressed. I don't think they can drop it hard. Like, maybe this was their hardest drop right here. Right there. I don't think they can maybe drop it hard, but I think they, they're, it's still being suppressed for sure, if that makes any sense. Um, so I, I have a hard time believing that this is going to gamma squeeze this week. I feel like we have to wait till next week, but maybe not. Maybe it got released today and... It's spooling up for a crazy, crazy run, and it's gonna start this week. Um, the volume on the daily, I mean, it, it's good. It's not great. This isn't like the squeeze has started volume, but maybe this one won't start with squeeze volume. Maybe it'll start, you know, work its way up and ramp up and start with a gamma. You know, maybe it won't be like this. This is what I've been predicting, where it's like that and then just ridiculous volume. This volume though, this was a failed to deliver date. So it might not be like that because that wasn't a squeeze. This volume, I think this was also a failed deliver date, or I actually don't see that might have been. Anyways, neither one of these were really squeezes. This was probably becoming a gamma squeeze, or was a gamma squeeze, or a sneeze, as they say, a sneeze, the short sneeze back then. But um, maybe this will just slowly ramp up in volume, and maybe my prediction of, or my uh, plan to wait until huge volume spike uh, isn't right. Because it's definitely a lot more volume than we've had. But it's not, I mean, it's not totally engulfing those volume bars to where those are tiny. So maybe, maybe this is how it's beginning. And that's, that's awesome. Um, it's looking solid to me. Um, yeah, we've got shares we're holding. Uh, minimum, <clears throat> minimum on this thing. If you're watching AMC and don't know anything about GME, you would think this thing's got to go to 2000. And that's if AMC stops at 80, which... If it hits 80, I don't know. I feel like it'll probably keep going to 100. They actually, I heard they added more options on AMC also. They're not showing up here, but 73. So that's a massive gamma squeeze they're getting on that. Um. Anyways, I'll show you our plays we have going on. We're up a lot already because I, I went in heavy. So basically what I was waiting for on the volume. If you own shares, it doesn't matter. Buy buy the dip, do whatever. Buy, buy whenever you have money. <laughs> do whatever you want. If you're playing with options, it, it's... The strategies are t totally different. You're you're you are competing with time. Um, so basically, I have to figure out the timing on it with options. So what I was waiting for was huge volume spike, and then I was going to go in heavy with naked calls. The IV is so high on this thing that naked calls you're paying a huge premium for. 
basically, if it goes in the wrong direction just for a little bit, you're going to lose tons of premium. Today. I mean, this thing was looking good yesterday, but who knows? I thought I was going to keep dropping after this. Today, it changed my mind. On the hourly, this, this candle right here. This one candle changed my mind. It's coming here, it's coming here. I, and I still had a short position on GME with, with options. I thought I was going to come down. I was like, this is kind of crazy. Boom, right here. MACD crossed over, green on the histogram, green candle over the nine moving average. I was like, okay, this thing's bullish. I literally, I cl closed my position in this hour, bought naked calls, 11 of them. Not for this week, but next week. And then literally like 10 minutes later, those things were up 100%. This happened right after. And now we're up here, now I'll show you. Here they are. 11, uh, June 11th, 520 calls. These are all the way out the money because these are, these are my squeeze calls. These are my squeeze calls. And like I said, it could be weeks, could be a month, but this is just how I'm getting started. Um, when it squeezes, it's going to go up a lot. It's going to go down a lot. When it goes down a lot, I'm going to be probably buying debit spreads on those dips. But um, yeah, I got these and I can show you the, the chart on it today. So today we bought these right here, right here. Right before that, that bump up, I saw that one candle MACD crossover, bought it. They went from 600 bucks. These were super expensive. I never spend that much money on options. Options have an expiration date. It's really risky. Bought them 600. They ramped up to 1300 in like 10 minutes. Now look, 1400. Now they're back up to 1300 again. These things can lose premium really quick. They're really far out of the money. I've got a small amount of time on it, but if it keeps going, these are going to be crazy valuable. I mean, they're, it's, it's already crazy. They're up 156%. Whew. Anyways, um, so yeah, I put 5,600 into these. Uh, they're up, I don't know. They're, I mean, they're worth they're worth a lot more. So I could, I'm, I'm basically positive 156%. But I'm waiting for next week. I'm waiting for some, some real price action where these are crazy. Um, so yeah, that's what I did on that. Spy, I had to call credit spread, close that out. And uh, wow, a lot of stuff. Close out Spy credit spread. And because I thought Spy was going to come down today. Market just closed. Ding, 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 ding. Market did come down. We saw it. Oh, look at that. Good thing I closed it. It ramped up right here at the end. Um, another confirmation that it might have been starting was when we had that crazy volatility here. If you weren't watching, AMC altered going down. GME started ripping going up. Biggest volume, biggest green candle of the day. Market started tanking. It all happened simultaneously. It's literally like... AMC stopped trading on its way down, halted from uh, velocity, circuit breaker, 10% in five minutes, boom, halted. And then like everybody moved to that. <laughs> I know it didn't happen, but that's what it looked like. And then this candle went boop. It was like, oh my gosh. So today was, I think, a sneak peek and it's going to, it's just an, a nice little signal, a nice little signal on GME that this thing's lagging hard. If you don't know anything else, it's, uh, if you're, FOMOing because you think you missed AMC. I don't, maybe you didn't. Maybe AMC is going to triple from here. However, you should know that you haven't missed GME now. Yeah. It's by play. Um, sold out the call credit spread. I had, we had UONE. I actually called this out yesterday. I, this is one of the ones from January. I was, I was trading when all these were going crazy. Look at the upside on this thing. $54. I went from a dollar to $54. That's more than AMC and GME have done by far. This was in like two days. Um, anyways, signals yesterday showed good. It was doing good this day, ramped up like crazy, doubled five bucks to 10 bucks and then consolidated down here. And then I, I caught it right here yesterday. And I said, um, I did it in the recap video yesterday. If you watch it, like I bought you, uh, it's showing good signs on the daily. It looked really nice right here. Don't look at this candle. Just look at this candle. I saw it right here. I saw it wanted to bounce off that moving average. Saw the beginning of this candle, bought in here. It's going up like crazy. This thing, yeah, it doubled today. Well, I guess in the last two days it doubled. Um, I actually, so I bought in. I didn't have hardly any buying power. I bought it on this account, bought it on this account. And then uh, it, was only, it was only a little bit. So then I, I forgot E-Trade, I have money. So I bought on E-Trade and then... I got scared. I was like, I need my buying power for GME. So actually I sold it back out the same day, but I should have held on because <laughs> it went crazy. I didn't, there wasn't a whole lot of volume. So I was a little nervous, but anyways, UONE, UONE went crazy today. We made some money on that also. Um, 
G so I close my short position out of GME, open up the long uh, spy. There's Kodak too, also running. I mean, a lot of these were running cost Kodak Express, Blackberry. The upside on these is insane. And these might keep going. I don't know. Um, when GME squeezes, I think it's going to suck the whole market into it. But maybe all the shorted stocks will also be running simultaneously. That's quite possible. Look at Kodak. It was at $60. Went from $1.50 to $60 in just like a week. That was that was insane. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, this is a little more choppy. There's more resistances and stuff here than UONE, U1. But um, both these look good on the daily. I mean, they're both they're both stoked right now. So if you want to swing trade and you like don't want to get in on GME or AMC because you're like, oh, I'm too late or whatever. I mean, this is a nice, nice little consolidation ramp. There's a nice bull flag. These could keep going. I'm I'm pretty focused uh, on GME. One one bird in the one bird in the hand, two in the bush. I don't want to I don't want to spread it out too much. Got to got to keep it focused. And I've been setting up this play for, you know, since January. So it's dev devoted half half this year to this play, which if we come up with millions of dollars at the end, it's totally worth it. Um, I had a call credit spread on Tesla. Called that out yesterday also in the video. I said Tesla's going to go down um, just based on charts. It's amazing what you can do with charts when it's not manipulated as much as GME. But yeah, this was giving all signs, signs that it was hitting a top going to come down. And I shared them all in yesterday's video as well. And it did. It didn't need to come down much. I have a call credit spread here, though, which is a bearish play. 626. 22 and a half. So this one actually is a pretty good little gainer. 852 max profit, 648 max loss. So we're up 400 on that. And um, I'm gonna let it ride because I only got two days. And I don't think Tesla's gonna jump back up there. So yeah, it's still bearish to me. So that one was nice. And then, oh, Rocket shot up today too. One of the other ones that were, I think this one was from Call Sweeps maybe. Um, but it's also, I think, heavily shorted and manipulated as you can see. Got this nice trading and then oh what in the world and then uh then, oh, like what is all this this is this is fake so this one ran up today too 13 percent which is good because these calls i have on here hopefully these will do well i bought these on that jump up uh where was that is that here oh i had a bump up yeah it was here i kind of fumbled in that one don't do it be patient and hopefully those do well those are 24 calls for friday which it seems close to this but this thing is heavily manipulated uh yeah this one this one's bad which means it has a lot of potential for a crazy squeeze which i had here that was a crazy play that we did and then i held it all the way down there um <laughs> anyways uh hopefully this one works out because we've got calls on here too on rocket tlt puts and calls but i'm more about the puts on this tlt play ubxy is broken because it's split um yeah we're up i don't know 10 grand today on this account and then, uh, oh, you guys didn't see it. That's 86. All right. There's 95 over here. And then on this one, 1100. That's from the shares. And then Weeble, I don't know. Weeble's weird. Four grand. Yeah, because this is our biggest share position on here. So, GME, heavy into GME. All this being said, all this quick money, all this. Money that comes in quick, it goes quick. So when you get the money that comes in quick, you put it into a long term. You buy and you you hold it and you don't touch it. And that's that's what I'm doing. Um so I've got the long term, it's on fidelity. It's, it's uh stocks that I know, use, or think will be here in 10 years. And that's really where you make the big money in the market. It just takes time. It takes time. Some of it's Airbnb. We got a cover call on that one that I opened up probably did it too early because this is setting up this is very bullish looking um same with rocket i have actually have a cover call on this one too probably too early on that one also but i can roll them up and then what's corsair like yeah there you go this one has been this one i love corsair we'll see though we'll see what happens with it guys might be the beginning of the beginning of the end or the end of the beginning of the beginning of the end i'm not sure but whatever you do sub up like up comment down happy money sticks around uh, follow us on Twitter at Happy Money YT. You think this is it? Jump on our Discord if you'd like. Shared a lot of plays in here. A lot of people sharing crazy stuff. Um, yeah. So 
anyways we will see you tomorrow i'll probably stream if if uh yeah i might i might stream i just i want to get my play set up and then stream thanks guys see you tomorrow peace out